Hi friends, today I'm going to teach you about fractions. Hi friends, so this lesson is going to be an introduction to fractions and probability. What you're going to need is a piece of paper and a plate or an object that has a round top or bottom. You're going to take the plate, flip it upside down, and trace around it. What you should have is something like this. What you're going to do is take a pair of scissors and cut the plate out. Once you cut the plate out, you should have a circle. So Athena, can you demonstrate how to fold it? Oh, fold? Sure. Okay. So Athena, you're going to fold it first in half. Okay, it folds in half again. Okay, and then folds it in half again one more time to get eight equal parts. Okay, very good. Yeah. All right, once you have unfolded it, there should be eight equal parts. It should look like this. Now, you do not need to use the same colors that Athena had used. She wanted to incorporate Roy G. Biv, but instead of violet, she chose pink, and, and we had an extra space, so she chose brown. Okay, so once your child has colored in the circle uh, with different colors, you're gonna take a pen or a pencil and a paper clip, place it into the center, and have the paper clip be held by the pen or a pencil. So Athena, can you demonstrate oh, by spinning okay. this paper clip? Okay, what color did it land on? Pink. Pink. Okay. You should write it on here. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna put a tally mark here. So now I'm gonna show you with our uh, Google Documents that's provided in the description box. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we have wrote down all the colors that are on our spinner. We discuss which color would the spinner land on the most. Uh, we put our initials underneath the color that we think individually. And also we discuss the color that it would appear the least. And we've also began using our tally marks to indicate what the spinner had landed on. Okay, so we're gonna come back to you to show our end result. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, so we're back and this is what our result. So as you can see, the color red, we spun the spinner and landed three times. The color orange, zero. The color yellow was four. The color green was three. The color yellow, the color blue was um, two times. Purple, four times. Pink, four times. And brown, zero times. Um, so if green. you notice, yellow, purple, and pink, the spinner landed on each of them the same amount of times. And the two colors that the spinner did not land on at all was orange and brown. Friends, as you can see, the denominator, which is the number that's on the bottom, which represents the number of times we spun the spinner, which is 20. So we're able to compare all the numbers that are in the numerator, which is the number on top. 